Hello friends and welcome to the Wacky Weather Experiments with Ice Sprout. My name is Juliana. What's up everyone? My name's Robbie. <laughs> we are so excited to have you with us today. And before we get started, we'd like to take a look at what you got inside. Should we do that, Robbie? Yeah, we should. All right. The first thing, friends, is you got this book. Let's take a peek inside. It's filled with really cool stuff like a short story, awesome science experiments, and all sorts of fun games and puzzles and mazes and activities. Robbie, what's your favorite? I one? really think this one's my favorite. I love all of them, but this one's my favorite. <laughs> the detective time, that is a really fun puzzle. You so, mean the detective puzzle? The detective puzzle, that's right. So friends, I want you to enjoy this. You're gonna have a great time with this book. The next thing you got is this little tiny card. This is because we wanna see what you come up with. Your creations count. Your designs matter. We care about your ideas, don't we, Robbie? Yeah, we really do. We really do, and we wanna see what you come up with, and this is how we can do that. So, the directions are on the back, and here's what you do. With an adult's permission, take pictures or videos of all of your experiments. Then upload them to either Instagram or Facebook, and be sure to tag at iSprout, hashtag, hashtag iSprout. Hashtag iSprout, that's right. And that way we'll get them. And Robbie and I are gonna look at every single one. We are gonna respond to you. And then we will send you a prize pack in the mail. So friends, let's make sure we do this so that we can see all the amazing things you come up with. Yeah. Next is this tiny little card. This is because as of today, you will officially be part of the Young Scientist Club. So on the back, after you're done, Robbie, where are they gonna check it off? Right here. <laughs> the fun is covering it because you're not allowed to check it off right now because you haven't <laughs> completed it yet. But you will. At the end of today, you're gonna check it off and congratulations, you will officially be part of the Young Scientist Club. Also, in your kit, you got everything you need for a tornado experiment, which is two bottles, one, what's this, Robbie? Vortex. I almost called it Vortex because I always <laughs> call it Vortex. It's a, but it's Vortex. It is a Vortex. B instead of B. That's right. Good job on that. And then you've got these little tiny, what are they, Robbie? Beads. <laughs> that's right. For our tornado experiment. So that's going to be really fun. Then you also have this cool powder. We're going to use chemistry to create indoor snow today, which is going to be really fun. So with that, Robbie and I have a couple of very special friends we would like to introduce you to. You want to tell them about it? Yeah, their names are Spriggy and Twiggy. I think you guys are going to really like them. Me too. Spriggy and Twiggy live on the magical island of Sprout. Let's hear what they have to say. Spriggy and Twiggy are Sprouties. They live with their Sprouty friends on Sprout Island. They are clever, funny, and kind little scientists, and always very curious. Our new treehouse is gonna be awesome! I'm super excited. Sprout Island has great weather for a treehouse. Lots of sunshine and warm rain. You're right, Twiggy. We do have great weather for a treehouse. I wonder what it would be like in other places where it gets a lot colder and windier. Hmm, good question, Spriggy. If it's really cold, then it could snow. Can you imagine playing with snow? Well, look who's here. It's the Smarty Pants Sprouties. Do you stinkers really think that you could create snow and play with it? Fat chance. <laughs> awesome idea, Krabby. I wonder if we could use chemistry to create indoor snow to play with. As if. You scientist Sprouties think you're so smart. I dare you to try and play with snow on Sprout Island. Next thing you know, you're gonna wanna create a tornado. I double dare you. All right, Krabby, we accept your challenge. We like things that get us thinking and learning. It's totally fun. Fun? How can you possibly think science, technology, and engineering are fun? I'm gonna go do something that actually is fun, like take a nice long nap on my rock. Poor Krabby is so crabby that he misses all the fun. He sure does, but he did get me thinking. I wonder if we could find a way to make a mini tornado. 
Do you want to try? Yeah, that sounds awesome. I also have an idea on how we can use science to create pretend snow. Then we can build a snowman. Wow, that sounds fun! Yahoo! Spriggy and Twiggy want to explore weather with you. Join the Sprouties as they discover how tornadoes form and why no two snowflakes are ever the same. Well, friends, I think Spriggy and Twiggy have some pretty fun ideas. What do you think, Robbie? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's create a tornado together and use chemistry to make indoor snow. Now, before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about what does it mean to be a scientist, because that is what you are today. Scientists do a few things. First of all, they ask lots of questions. Everybody put your arms up. Questions. <laughs> Good. Second, they make predictions. Robbie, what's a prediction? It's a guess. Good guess on the guess, that's right. Then they try things, and they're always trying things in different ways. Sometimes it's gonna work, friends, and sometimes it's not. That's okay. Okay. It's part of the? Fun. It is Double part of the flag. fun. Double dig you can't move and talk. <laughs> All right, friends, so, it's really important that you know that it's okay if your experiment doesn't work the first time. Try it a different way. Tr experiment with different things. It's really part of the fun of being a scientist. And then, after you try your experiment, observe. Because scientists are always observing to see how things change and evolve. So, what do you think? Should we go create a tornado? Yeah, I think we should. Me too. Let's go to the kitchen, friends, and do it together. Hello friends, welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> Let's create a tornado together. So, if you haven't done so yet, now's a great time to get your experiments ready. The first thing you need to do is fill your tornado bottle almost to the top. Not all the way, but almost. It's about two cups of water. Then take your beads and add them in. We I already, already did it. Yep, yeah, we added ours in already. Then take your blue vortex and screw it in really tight. You might want to ask for an adult's help with this. Then what do we do, Robbie? We screw in the other butter like this. That's right. Not like falling over <laughs> like this. There no, you go, no, no, no. perfect. Friends, make sure it's on really snug. You might want to do this over a sink or a trash can, not over a computer. We have a trash can here and a sink here <laughs> and a toilet Terrific. here. Terrific, all right, here we go, friends. Are you ready? Slowly turn your bottle over. If it's leaking, that's just because you haven't tightened your blue vortex enough. So just snug it in a little bit more. If you are ready to go with your experiments, join us. If you need a minute, hit pause now and go get your tornado ready. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, right. I'm so excited. Right now. <laughs> All right, friends. So let me explain to you how tornadoes happen in nature. They need to have two things. There needs to be air yeah, at the circulating, bottom. right, at the bottom, at the ground, circulating fast. Oven at the top. And oh, also big. up in the air. So to blue do our tornado, bottom. we need to hold our blue vortex. We're gonna pretend that the blue vortex is the ground. And you're gonna hold it here, and you've gotta swirl it in circles, just like in nature. And you're gonna do fast little circles, just like you're stirring a pot, like this, okay? But fast. Counting to five. Robbie, do you want to do it for us? Yes. All right. Robbie's going to do it for us, friends. Let me see you do it at home. Here we go. One. Oh, no one, jumping up again. Two, two. Three. Four. Five. Oh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. There we go. There's your tornado. Now, friends, if the same thing happens to you that happened to Robbie, where you didn't get your tornado on the first time, that's okay. That's because you might have been moving it up and down a little bit. That happens in nature too. Come to me. <laughs> that happens in nature too. And when that happens, tornadoes don't form, just like in your bottle. So good job on that. The air has to circulate at the bottom and in the top. Well done, Robbie. And well done, friends. If it's still not happening for you, remember to swirl it like you're stirring a pot. Fast little circles, all right? Here we go. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five. And there's my tornado. Look at that one go. Now, friends, I want you to keep creating your tornado. Whirl and twirl with me. While you do that, I'm going to show you a video on how tornadoes form in nature. 
A tornado is a super fast column of circling air. When it's in the air, we call it a funnel cloud. All tornadoes start as a funnel cloud. If the funnel cloud touches land, then we call it a tornado. If it's over the ocean and touches the water, then we call it a water spout. In the United States, tornadoes form when cold, dry air meets with warm, moist air. Air rising in thunderstorms begins to spin as wind blows it in different directions. The wind moving at different speeds in different directions makes the air start spinning. Now stand up and twirl with the music, just like you are the wind whirling and twirling as a storm begins. Now come back to your video and check out this tornado. For a tornado to form, it needs spinning air near the ground. Look closely at the tornado and watch as the spinning air speeds up as it gets sucked towards the center. Notice how the fast spinning wind picks up dust and twirls it around? Tornadoes can be extremely dangerous. A tornado shelter is a safe room under the ground. People climb inside the tornado shelter and lock the door on top with a very strong tornado-proof lock. This way, if the tornado comes, the people in the shelter are protected. When the tornado is over, loud announcements are made from the sirens and on the radio so that people know it's safe to come out. Now, let's make our own tornado. All right, friends, those are great tornadoes that you're creating. Now I'd like you to make a prediction. What do you think your beads inside your bottle are like? Make a prediction. What could it be like in real life, in nature? So, now, while you're thinking about that, making your prediction, let's swirl your tornado again. Robbie, you wanna do it for us? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Think about that prediction, friends, and make your tornado. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, cool tornado. Look at it swirl. Now, friends, while you're making your tornado and watching your predictions happen in front of you, observing them, let's watch a video and find out. As you whirl and twirl your tornado, compare it to this video. Do you see how your debris is getting picked up and spun around? This is what happens to things that get sucked up by the tornado wind, like dirt, branches, and sometimes even buildings. Friends, your tornadoes are awesome. Don't forget to take pictures and videos of you so I can see you too. I really care about what you come up with. Also, with your tornadoes, remember you can try things your own way. So consider adding things to your tornado bottle like glitter or little tiny Legos. Some things will work, some things might not. And that's okay, it's part of the fun. Now. Spriggy and Twiggy had some pretty fun ideas about snow, right, Robbie? Yeah, they did. No two snowflakes are ever the same. No two snowflakes are ever the same. I'm dying to find out more about that. But first, I was thinking we'd use chemistry. What do you think? Yeah, to make our own snow. <laughs> to make our own snow. Indoor. So, friends, here's what you're going to need. Get your snow powder ready. You're going to need some type of a plate or pan or dish, something that an adult says you can leave out for about a week. And then you're going to need one cup of water. So if you're all ready for your experiment, join us. If you need a minute, now's a great time to pause and come back and join us. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Start. Go. <laughs> all right, friends, here's what you're going to do. You're going to open your snow powder. I'm hoping, Robbie, will you do this for us? Yes. All right. And I want you to pour it in one spot in the middle of your pan. One big pile all in the middle. There you go, Robbie. Pour it all in for us. Well done. What do you think is going to happen when you add water to your snow? Duh. You can put it in the chat below. You could in your message, comments. In the comments. Thank you, Robbie. You can write down your prediction in your book. You can think it in your head. You can say it out loud. Make a prediction, scientist. All right. Should we do it? Yes. All right. Do it slowly now, just a little bit at a time. Add water to your pile right in the middle for us, Robbie. What? Look at that. It puffs up like the Incredible Hulk, just a little at a time, just a little at a time. 
Keep going, guys. More water, a little bit at a time. Make sure that all of your powder gets the, gets the water. Look at that. Now, Robbie, good job. Now, friends, it's time to create. I want you to, it's time to get dirty, so don't forget to have some type of paper towels or napkins or something close by so you can clean your hands. I'm going to make a snowman. How does that <laughs> I want to see your designs and creations. This is your time to build and create. So I know I just said um, I'm going to make a snowman, but I changed my mind. I'm going to make a snowman. Too. All right, there you go. I'm going to put up a couple of ideas just for inspiration to give you some thoughts. Um, so take a look at these. Robbie and I have created a snow angel, a snowman, an igloo. But friends, these are just a few of the ideas. Let your imagination soar. You could create a dinosaur. You could write your name in the snow. Good job on your igloo, Robbie. You could create a fort. You can create a starfish. Friends, if you can think it, you can create it. And the cool thing about this, friends, is you don't have to just choose one. So friends, here's what I want you to do. Create one thing, then ask an adult to take a picture of it for you. Then try something else. Take a picture of that, try again. Create, recreate, redesign. Let your imagination take off. See all the cool things that you can do with this create with your snow. I'm making like an ice background. Oh, that's cool, Robbie. I love a nice background. Friends, there's all sorts of things you can do with this, and I really want you to be able to play and explore and build and innovate. This is your turn. So now, while you're creating, I'd like to show you a video about snow. Remember that interesting thing Spriggy and Twiggy were talking about, about those snowflakes? Yeah, none of them are alike. I'd like to. Crazy. It's crazy. There's a thousand towns, none of them are alike. <laughs> Almost all of them get snow. <gasps> Let's Whoa. find out. Whoa. Let's find out why. Join us, friends. You keep creating, and let's find out why on this video. Snow is a super important part of the Earth's climate system. Snow helps control the temperature of the Earth's surface, and once the snow melts, the water helps fill reservoirs and rivers in many regions of the world, especially the Western United States. Have you ever played in the snow like these polar bear cubs? When I count to three, everyone say your favorite snow memory all at once. If you haven't played in the snow, think of something that you want to do in the snow someday. Are you ready? One, two, three. That's great! Watching the snowfall is magical. But did you know that no two snowflakes are ever the same? Have you ever wondered how a snowflake is formed? An extremely cold drop of water freezes onto a tiny little speck of dust or pollen in the sky. This creates an ice crystal. As the ice crystal falls to the ground, more water freezes onto the crystal. This grows new crystals on top of the first crystal. As the crystal falls, more and more crystals form on top of it. One tiny snowflake can have as many as 200 crystals. Each snowflake is different because they each follow a slightly different path from the sky to the ground. Next time you catch a snowflake on your tongue, remember it is just as unique and special as you are. Friends, we've had so much fun with you today. I love the tornadoes that you're creating and the snowmen and snow angels and igloos. They're fantastic. I really wanna see what else you come up with. Now there's a couple of things that I want you to know as we finish up. The first is, after you're done with your snow design, Remember, you get to create all sorts of things. It's not just one. So take your favorite design, take a picture, then create something new. Take a picture of that, then create something again. That's what scientists and engineers and technologists do. We design and redesign and recreate. That's part of the fun. Right, Robbie? Yes. <laughs> all right, so and we want to see each of your designs. Now, after you're done with your favorite design, it's, we'd love for you to leave it out for a week and observe what happens. I want you to do two things. One, make a prediction of how your creation is going to change over time. And two, 
why do you think this is happening? So send me messages about why you think it's happening and what you think is gonna happen. Yes. And then send it over. Now friends, after you're done with all of that and you've observed for a week, it's very important when you're ready to dispose of your experiment that you do it properly. It does not go down the sink. We're gonna put it down the trash, friends, okay? so. Remember, no sink, no drain down the trash when you're all done, but not before you send me your ideas because I really want to see your creation. So please remember to upload to social media, either Instagram or Facebook. Don't forget to tag at iSprout. <laughs> Hashtag iSprout. iSprout is spelt with a W. W. For wonder. Because we want to inspire your sense of wonder. Friends, now, we'd like to invite you to join iSprout. You are officially part of the Young Scientist Club, so check off number one on your card. Congratulations on your accomplishment. And if you've had as much fun today as we've had with you, we would love to invite you to join our community. Each month, we will send you a different kit in the mail. And they're all different and they're all unique. One month will be about an herb garden and the next month about a volcano. You'll learn, to, you'll get to create rockets and grow rock crystals. So each time is gonna be unique and special and fun, filled with cool activities. So we'd love to welcome you as part of our community. As our gift to you, enter in coupon code INSPIRE into your, at checkout, code INSPIRE and that will save 30% off your first month's membership. So um, don't forget, I sprout, spelt with a W. Enter coupon code INSPIRE to save 30%. And friends, if you check your school, if you select your school at checkout, excuse me, then we will donate 20% of our proceeds back to, back your, to school, your school. And back to your school's PTA. Thank you, friends. We've had a really fun day with you today. Robbie and I look forward to seeing your adventures. And don't forget to upload them so we can see every creation you come up with. Bye-bye.